Hi there, Cancer. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 16th of November. Now, the party season is really beginning to crank up. And if you're someone who really embraces the Christmas festivities, the fact that the sun is conjunct with Mercury in the most sparkling of locations this week suggests you may want to join in with others and really enjoy celebrating some kind of entertaining event and it could be linked to the upcoming Christmas holidays. However, there is still a connection between Venus and Mars, and Mars in particular, with Saturn. And this suggests you could be doing something rather creative from the comfort of your home. Inviting people around, home cooking, anything to do with handcrafts, and if you are someone who's quite skilled at crafting, a new dimension to this can really excite you. In fact, you can be fizzing with possibilities. Your enthusiasm can be quite infectious. There can also be some rather flirty conversations going on as well. But if you do connect with someone, the chances are it's going to be a person who really understands what makes you tick at quite a deep emotional level. Yes, you want the flirtation and the fun, but it needs to be something a bit more meaningful too. If it's not, the quarter moon which occurs this week could see you doubting any kind of relationship which tends to be clingy, possessive, or there's a lot of jealousy washing around it. But there is also the role of Saturn and Neptune. I flagged this at the start of the month. It's going to be increasing its influence and it will peak towards the end of November, but it really is becoming much more influential this week. Neptune's in a part of your horoscope that sees you want to open up your mind and your, and your existence to some kind of higher plane. And that's very exciting, but it's being challenged by the fundamental crunching reality of Saturn, which is in your sector of everyday occurrences. So work and responsibilities could at times pulverise your passion. But you have to be realistic about how much you can cram in. You can't do everything. And by the end of this week, ironically, both Mercury and the Sun are going to be relocating into Sagittarius to join up with Saturn. Now, they're still going to be very close together, and it's possible that you may find yourself thinking more about health, diet, fitness, life organization. If you're very disciplined around these areas normally, Perhaps the more flirtatious and fun side of earlier in the week is something you're going to want to balance up by just getting a bit more grounded and catching up with any chores that might get missed out if you do go out and have some fun. But it is all about trying to strike that balance in your existence. And I do feel that as this week draws to a close, that part of you that does like things to be quite ordered is going to come more to the fore. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.